What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. I'm Katya. In today's lesson, we're going to focus on linking words of addition. Their purpose is to add additional information to what was said before. They can be super useful both in your speaking and writing exams. Are you ready? If so, grab your notebook and a pen and let's kick off. So let's get started. The first linking word on my list today is one of my favorites on top of that. Let's look at two examples. The first one, what a day. First, my heater has broken down and on top of that, I've got a fine for going over the speed limit. And one more example, he's a keeper. He is romantic, affectionate, and on top of that, he loves cooking. And now let's move on to our second linker, which is very similar to the first one. And it's on top of everything else. It's slightly informal. The first one, I'm snowed under with work. On top of everything else, I'm in the middle of moving house. And one more example, I missed the last bus. And then on top of everything else, it started pouring down. The third one, it's more British and it's what's more. Let's look at two examples. The first one, No Time to Die, is an action-packed movie. What's more, the locations are stunning. Have you seen this movie? I have, and it's very entertaining. And one more example here, Bali is such a beautiful island. What's more, local people are friendly and hospitable. And you, have you been to Bali? Number four, this linker is super common also. One simple sentence, thank you for wishing me and English Bits a happy birthday. Also, thanks for watching my video every week. And now let's move on to our conjunction number five, plus. For example, running my first marathon was tough. Plus, I was injured. If you want to see the video about my first marathon in Copenhagen, you can do it by clicking on the pop-up link right here. And one more example, the food was bland, plus it was overpriced. Now we're going to learn a slightly more formal linker, moreover. The first example about Belen Canalejo, Belen's a successful entrepreneur. Moreover, she's a mother of four children. And one more example, the hotel was charming and cozy. Moreover, there was a spa. Number seven, on the side. It has two meanings. The first one is in addition to your main source of income. The first example is about me. I give online classes and run my YouTube channel on the side. And one more example, he's a French teacher, but also plays in a band on the side. And the second meaning of on the side is secretly. For example, she is my little bit on the side. This sentence could have been said by husband talking about his mistress. Number eight, besides. It's used to enumerate a list of different reasons. The first simple sentence, I won't be able to go to the concert. I have to catch up on work and besides, the ticket is way too expensive. And one more example, in the end, I didn't buy the dress. It didn't speak to me and besides, I'm trying to save money. Something doesn't speak to me. It's a very interesting expression that means that you don't like something and it's not your style. For example, I don't like this apartment. Or we can say this apartment doesn't speak to me. Number nine as well. It usually goes at the end of a sentence 
For example, I like swimming in the sea and in the swimming pool as well. Number 10, we can also say as well as plus something. For example, I like beaches as well as mountains. Number 11, a slightly more formal conjunction in addition or additionally. And now two examples. The first one, social media can undermine teenagers' self-esteem. In addition, their attention span is likely to shorten. And another example, a positive aspect of a minimalist lifestyle is freedom. Additionally, you spend less time cleaning. And now we're going to look at one more formal conjunction, which is perfect to be used in your essay, for example. And it's furthermore. Let's put it into a simple sentence. The pandemic has affected the travel industry. Furthermore, it's had an impact on the labor market. And one more example about traveling. Traveling broadens your mind. Furthermore, you can meet like-minded people. Number 13, another way to add information is by using an inversion. We can say not only, but also. And now two simple sentences. The first one, not only am I going to attend this week's meeting, but I'm also going to give them a piece of my mind. If you want to know what to give someone a piece of your mind means, Check out one of my very old videos on mind idioms. You can find it by clicking right here. And one more example, not only do they do good work, but they also charge reasonable rates. Two more to go, number 14, and another thing. It's used to introduce a different topic or idea. And now let's look at two examples, the first one and another thing. Why didn't you answer any of my calls? And one more simple sentence. And another thing that surprised me was her faith and courage. And last but not least, to make things worse. It's used to say that something makes a bad situation worse. Let's put it into a simple sentence. To make things worse, I missed my connecting flight. And the last simple sentence for today, I arrived late at work. First, I overslept. And to make things worse, I missed the bus. So guys, that's it for today. Thank you for having watched this lesson up to the very end. I really hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. And you will use these linkers in your speaking and writing. And guys, I encourage you to pick one conjunction and write a simple sentence in the comments down below and I'll check it for you. And of course, if you learned something new, please don't forget to give this lesson a little bit of love and support by clicking the like button. And remember to subscribe to English Vids if you like my channel and catch me on Instagram where I teach English every day. Thank you for having watched this lesson and see you next week. Ciao for now!